Dude, I swear people just be trying to do anything with shoes, bro. Those are awful. Man, it's crazy. What's it called? It, um, I'm thinking about selling these on StockX. Those are good, though. Yeah. What do you think I get for it? Oh, what the hell? Is that Tyler Blevins? Get his ass! That's a full size. That's a full size. She, she, she won every color. That's a full size. Hello to every single member of the FS Army watching across the world. Of course, I'm your co host, Brendan Dunn. I'm Matt Welty. Brendan that, James. And we have with us today Ninja. He is a streamer, a gamer, and Adidas collaborator. Woo! So happy to have you here. Thank you, guys. Happy to be here, man. Just so you know, this is the penultimate episode of the season, so it's a big deal for us every single time. All right. What, I, so I probably should have asked this before I came here. Like, what's like the language like? Am I allowed to kind of just say whatever I want? What, what do you want to say? Whatever you need. Fuck. Keep going. No, I'm getting, I'll, I'll leave it at that. That was like a test. We're gonna go. <laughs> no. Yeah, you, oh, that was a test. You, you passed the test, baby. Ninja, we're gonna find out about your sneaker history. The first thing we want to talk about, though, the shoes everyone has on feet. So, Welty, what are you wearing? Got the Adidas Hover Turfs on. Shout out the good guy, Mr. Griefen. Okay. For these. Yeah. You actually nice. hovering those or? Uh, no board. <laughs> Damn. That was, that was a nice Welty. I got a grail, guys. Shout out to Lace App, man. I got a grail off of there. I've been wanting these off-white chucks for a while. Just, you know, we would be lazy sometimes. So it made sense for what I'm doing. My see-through shoes, dad socks. Um, you know, we came with a big fit today, guys. Okay. Honestly, for some reason, didn't think that we were going to be looking at uh, the shoes that I was specifically wearing. I don't think I'm allowed to be wearing these right now. Oh, Whoa. you got to blur them out? Got an exclusive? <laughs> <laughs> these are that exclusive. Let's go. No, no. So these are, uh, these are my shoes. Um, Oh, with Adidas, that kind of got like delayed a little bit. Uh, oh, that's a great play. 2K so, boost. Uh, exclusive. Yeah, man, these are exclusive. Yeah, so the uh, the theory behind it was we just wanted to put, uh, I work with Rick in uh, Detroit, uh, Rick Williams, and we wanted Rick! To, yeah, dude. Love Rick, Rick dude. I love him, man. Uh, we just wanted to put a dope, like, when I gave him some of my favorite scenes from mm. the video game, just uh, the background, and then mm. he just kind of like put it in the shoe. your own thing. I see it, it's dope. Yeah, man. So. That's a Final Fantasy, bro. Yeah, it is a Final Fantasy. It is actually Final Fantasy. That's crazy. <laughs> that's crazy, so, bro. You, Ninja, that's a shoe that you love, but what's your most regrettable sneaker purchase you've ever made? Dude, I, I don't remember making any regrettable... Oh, okay. <laughs> we all have one. You can't come here and pretend like you have a flawless it was, record. Oh, dude, it was, a, it, was, it was one of the, the, the Louis Vuitton collabs that they did, and it just got... It was like an all-white denim Louis Vuitton. Like, it looked clean as shit, and then I wore it to a club like an idiot, and it just went and, and just wrecked them, dude. I mean, it was terrible. I poured beer in it and did a shoe, was it, what's it called? Did a shoey? I did a shoey with uh, uh, one of the, one of the, the Kardashians, um, oh. like brothers or something. And uh, in some Louis, Shoey with the Louis, wow. Shoey with the Louis. <laughs> so uh, I, I regret it because uh, it was a waste of like 500 bucks. Listen, I got on Adidas today, uh, just some gazelles, orange suede, you know what it is. Guys, let's talk sneaker news. First piece of sneaker news we want to discuss is this LPL Nike Dunk collaboration. Um, I like these even without the gaming association. I, I never was a League of Legends guy. I didn't even make it to Dota. I'm a footman frenzy guy, but you know, okay. not all that. All right. um, Ninja, have you seen these type of gaming sneaker collabs? Are you into this? Uh, dude, I, for me personally, I'd like a little more gaming on the on the shoe. But okay. that's just like, you know, I mean, clearly. Uh, Obviously, yeah. I mean, this is actually what it would look like where it's just like, yeah, this is an LPL collab and you couldn't really tell if, right. you're, if you're looking too much at it, right? Cause it just looks like a clean new new sneaker. But like, you know, I, I prefer like kind of throw it in your face. Cause so you I, think you, are you saying that your gaming sneaker collab is better than this gaming sneaker collab? <laughs> Depends on what you mean by gaming sneaker collab. Right, right, <laughs> it's right, all about right, perspective. So right. if you like, if you like the, I, I know people that want, like they want their shoes to not be like, you know, super busy and stuff like that, right? And mm -hmm. and some people might even be ashamed to, I don't know, let people know that they play video games, which is weird. Cause I feel like that's not it's the- 2021. 100% man, yeah. like if anything, like if anything, like I feel like that should have been like this, like crazy. I would have loved to have all the champions on it, man. Like throw yeah. like Jinx and freaking all the 80 carries and junglers out there, yeah, bro. Yeah, just, yeah. Did you know there's an Xbox Adidas sneaker coming out did you see that one yet didn't you, gonna, you got it let me you gonna show me um i got some photos in my phone we can't show it publicly <laughs> oh <laughs> wait they didn't they don't give you the early on that no they i do get literally like a box of shoes though like every other day it's literally like christmas bro is, uh, is that is it like annoying almost because i i know that feeling and like sometimes it's like what am i going to do with all these i just leave them upstairs in our uh we have an attic a full of shoes <laughs> <laughs> it is an it is an incredible feeling man Facts. Right. Especially since size 13, I'm size 13, so like they like I'm like if they send me shoes, I, I have to be able to wear them. So 
So like right. I get free size 13 shoes. This shoe, um, it reminds me of the Marshall Amp SBs. Oh yeah, the high tops? Yeah, I, I like this shoe. Um, I'm not familiar with the game, so I don't want to be that guy. You never played League? No, sir. No, I didn't. But I am a fan of great silhouettes. Yeah. Whether you're a gamer or not, I love when a, a shoe does it what it's supposed to do and it understands the assignment and it doesn't feel like it's forcing you to be a gamer. Mm. Or whatever. It's like even if you're not a gamer, you can still rock it. If you are a gamer, definitely you're in there. Play yeah, but if you're not a gamer, you the prizes, right? Come on. Come on. <laughs> Dude, you don't understand, man. That's so crazy. <clears throat> so that, I, know, I literally had a conversation with someone and he said the same shit. And he got banned in the game that we were playing because he was doing some dumb shit. Oh. <laughs> and, the, and the GM, like the guy who like banned him, comes in my in my Discord and he goes, "Play stupid games, man. Win stupid prizes." <laughs> no, you like, you blurped it. You bleeped it I out. I bleeped it out myself, man. I'm just trying to help you out. I'm no, safe. Is it a we're safe? We're trying space? to help you out. Appreciate you guys, man. Play, play stupid <laughs> fucking 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 games. Wins. Hey. Bro. Next bit of sneaker news: Isaiah Thomas, not the Isaiah Thomas from The Last Dance but more current Isaiah Thomas, put out a tweet this past week saying he wanted a pair of the Travis Scott Fragment Jordan 1s and he's willing to pay retail and give someone a signed jersey along with it. These shoes are flipping for thousands of dollars, so I hope that jersey is worth that much for anyone who can plug them in 11 and a half. Hmm. Ninja, have you, stupid prize. <laughs> Ninja, have you ever have you ever uh, been that thirsty for anything publicly? Uh, No, no. Whoa. No, I can pretty much get what I what I want. What about any, like vintage games? I know we're talking shoes, so, but you know maybe it's a game you might want from the '90s that you know. You guys don't even, dude. It is so crazy. You guys are hitting on so many things that like you guys don't even know, and oh, it's so know. crazy. No, you know, but you don't know. Yeah. So, so literally, so Blake Martinez plays for the uh, New York. It doesn't and, matter. Continue. Uh, anyways, he's uh, he's one of the best uh, linebackers in the in the NFL, right. dude. He hooked me up with a uh, like a rated 9.5 out of 10, or I think it's 10 out of 10. Final Fantasy 11 unopened uh, like game. Oh, uh, that makes sense. Boxed up. That makes sense. Also, one of my best friends, um, Alex, hooked me up with a Legend of Legaia. Oh yeah. Unopened case, and this game is like, dude, it's. Clearly Wait, not so what? So what thirsty thing did you do to get the shoes? I mean, did, what I would do for those shoes? No, I mean, so <laughs> did you do anything dirty for them? No, yeah. no, I just uh, a, I didn't. A, I didn't do anything dirty, but I still. A, but like, you have a dude, clean conscious you know. going <laughs> nice. going into that situation. Um, yeah, no, absolutely. Um, but for these shoes, I mean, I, I mean, they look clean. I don't rock high tops. I can't. I go in the store, I try them on all the time, and I just. I, really, I feel like for tall guys, high can't tops do work. Do I look athletic? Even if you're I got not it. really, as long as you look athletic. Like I play soccer, bro. I'm thin. I'm like nimble. I'm not a basketball player. Okay, <laughs> fair enough. I, I gotta say, I think we can't be out here this publicly begging for stuff. I'm, I'm begging for sneakers, but I'm doing it in the DMs. You know what I mean? 100%. Like I'm not. That's desperation. <laughs> I'm gonna be honest with you, athletes. They got to censor their phone. They got to take athletes' phones away from them because they. I mean, at, at the end of the day, things like this bring it back down to a more human level. It just shows us how human we are. Nobody's really better than anybody because at any given time, you know, so this is the same thing as somebody that from ATAF, you know what I'm saying? ATAF would, would do the same thing, you know what I'm saying? Like somebody from the from a sneaker group would do, you know, so it's really interesting. But Ninja, moving forward, brother, we want to get into, you know, it's a blessing to be able to be wearing your own shoes. But before you're able to get to the place of owning and having your own shoe, where, what are your earliest sneaker memories? Like where the sneakers, matter to you, you know what I'm saying? Are you a sneaker head like that or? No, nah, no, nah, I, was, I wasn't growing up okay. at all, man. Okay. So it was definitely this last year, last two years with Adidas, I like dove into the culture, man, okay. and I love it. And you know, Rick helped me out a lot with of understanding course. that, you know. Love you, Rick. Dude, the stories that shoes can have. The stories again. Like, at first I was always like, you know, going into it, I was super excited, but actually learning that sneakers have stories and to be able to tell it just with simply the design as you continue to move forward, like I love that stuff. Um, but growing up, man, for me, it was just like, I just wanted a, I just wanted these incredible Pumas oh for um, cleats, dude. They were like the dopest. They were like 200 bucks. And, and like, dude, only like the best players had them. You know what right, I mean? Right, right. You rocking like some 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 budget, you know, like yeah. $20 right. cleat. It's already falling apart. And, and then there were these shiny, freaking clean, like yellow, orange, neon. I was like, mom, those. Right. Like, I want to look, and but we couldn't afford those, so. You never got them? Nope. So well, we did get weird. one. It was like it was like my Just last like one year. shoe? No, it was like, like, <laughs> <the lens. laughs> like, yeah. like my you last one. Like, you only need to kick with one foot. <laughs> I'm right footed, bro, and uh, that was one of my downfalls. <laughs> I, I know you had said, though, that you used to have to do chores 
to let your mom buy you video games? All of it. Did you have to, you did you do chores too to get sneakers? I think it was just more of like my mom wanted me to and dad wanted me to just like still play soccer. So at okay. that at that Sorry, point Cynthia. it was like, you want these sneakers? Well, here you go, go out there and play. Did your father play soccer? No, my dad was a, actually my dad and my mom were both uh, college basketball oh, players. My nice. dad, w uh, I believe when he says this, but he, you know, he's like 6'3", so he's like, he had potential to, you know, at the time, about 30 years ago, right, to go to the NBA, but he had a, like a horrible injury, like okay. most people do. Right, 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 things happen. Yeah. You have your own Adidas collaboration, you know, we've mentioned it uh, multiple times already, but how did the deal actually happen? Did they approach you or? Four years, man, it's been so long, bro, and also with COVID, I'm like completely, time is like, yeah. it doesn't exist. Right. Um, I believe that we were we were looking at them, between them and Nike, and when it came to it, we were like, um, Adidas wanted to do multiple shoes. They wanted to do, first off, just a gaming shoe in general that they were excited about. I think Nike just wanted to be like involved. Mm. Like I just was just like representing them, and I was like, no, man, this is not more, good enough. Right, it's about gaming Typical culture. Typical Nike shit. Yeah, man, and uh, <laughs> so so we, they, uh, we just, Say that they approached us after that, and it was just a, a no-brainer too when it came to that to, to choose between a company that clearly actually wants to create gaming shoes and like and one that doesn't. And really. was there a huge difference in the bag? No, not really. <laughs> I tell you right now that like the bag for me never has been like it's always had something. If if there was money involved and it was going to do something for like the gaming community as well to like break barriers, then then you know it'd be a little bit more like yeah that'll look. You know, <laughs> a bag without no barriers, you know. Absolutely it. not, no, dude. Yeah. If someone can come up to me and give me five mil for like to to do whatever and and like you know ditch Red Bull, and I just be like, like no. Hey, um, if they come to you with the offer, <laughs> with five million dollars, yeah, he's just, like talking to him. He will throw yeah. anybody on the, the train. It's not. It doesn't work out for you and your team. Just, I got you. We know you've mentioned Rick uh, multiple times. He's a friend of the program. He's been on our podcast. Shout Rick. Out. Shout out Burn Rubber, everyone in Detroit. Oh, yeah, I know bro. you're a Michigan guy originally too. Yep. How did you originally get uh, connected with Rick to work on the shoes? So my boy Niles, who uh, was a part of the management company that I, I was with originally loaded, he knew Rick because he's also from Detroit and actually he lives there and he's like, dude, listen, Ty guys, you like my boy Rick's gonna hook you up. He's gonna help you out with, these, with all this Adidas stuff. He's actually, I think, one of the main reasons as well that we were really interested in looking for a shoe club to begin with. And then literally just one, we did, I think we spent like two hours, it was at an Adidas shoot. Finally met Rick, and we were in a freaking trailer for three hours waiting, because for some reason there was some crazy delay, and we were just talking about just anything and everything, kicking yeah. the shit for three hours. Legendary straight. guy, a hundred percent. Actually, video games, because we talked about what we wanted, because you know obviously he helps design literally everything, and uh, and dude, he's just the man. So, Ninja, are you aware of sneaker bots? Like, have you paid attention to how crazy that has gotten, and people even using programs to like buy graphics cards and snatch up PS5s on Target websites and stuff like yeah, that? Yeah, absolutely. Dude, so so there are people that are like, they they swear by it, bro. That like, if you tweet out a code, like if you tweet like, dude, stop tweeting out the code, man. Like the whole code. There are bots that just claim it right away. I'm like, no shot. But apparently there is, I don't know. So yeah, no, I'm definitely aware that people do that. I feel like you could be really good. You might have the skills to buy a sneaker really fast. You know, APM's really high, 100%. you know, 100%. like going through a website, clicking through as fast as possible. I feel like that's in your wheelhouse. It's easy. It's all about making sure you have the internet, man. You know, saying you got, I got that PC the, the ping, on yeah, deck, yeah. Percent ping, low ping, I'm at five. Yeah, like five maybe, maybe four, shit. yeah, Come yeah. On, bro. Yeah, and then have you, been concerned about sneaker bots with your own releases? Like, have you had to do things where like, oh, I wanna make sure these get into the hands of my fans or you're not too pressed about that? I truly always thought that like the people who would want to get them would get them. Yeah. Right? I never thought that there would be any crazy hype where there people are just like- Resellers going oh, yeah, crazy. No, no, no. I don't think, and from what I know, I don't think there was ever any crazy reselling going on with any of the shoes that yeah. we released. Have you, have you ever resold sneakers yourself? I have never resold sneakers myself simply just because I'm not trying to flip, I'm trying to cop and then rock. You know what I'm saying? So I'm not there yet, I'm not there yet. I don't, you know. Also, I don't really need to flip. <laughs> uh, I don't want to. <laughs> let's, let's, let's just clear the air on that. Right? I don't, so, but I do know that I know that there are people that literally their entire lives are they're so good yeah, they at take it. They, they, yeah, 100% by flipping 100%. So, uh, I'm not knocking it. Sorry, I just want to. How do you think about Fortnite um, getting into the sneaker culture? Like, I love it. I mean, as long as it's not well. What do you not like? Because it's a part of you don't like. So it's the same thing that I try not to do. Is I don't want to. I want to stay in my lane, and I never want to be a part of something that I'm not either comfortable with or I don't know anything about it. Right, and right. It's like, I'm just doing it because I want to do it. What Epic does is, or what they've been trying to do is they're like, especially with the whole like the lawsuit against Apple, because they want to make sure that, you know, 
everyone's just they just want everything to be fair they want to be right. fair inclusive too. fair blah, blah. i mean do they have like well think of how many titles that they actually own not own but now have like allowed them to have their stuff in the game bro it's literally there's yeah. freaking star wars you know just to name one um i think that that's what they're trying to do so now but now with this uh riot already coming up with their gaming shoe it's like they're not necessarily the first so it's like are they just joining in to try to say that they've they have a shoe. Appropriation, blah, blah, blah. It's a lot goes into it. But I'm yeah. sure that there's there's some some sneakerheads that, you know, are part of Epic Games that are like have been probably pushing this. Like, dude, right, like let's get a Jordan game. in there. Yes. Yeah. Speaking of gaming shoes, I know that Puma made a gaming sneaker um, that's supposed to help you with your performance. I'm gonna need you to show me this. <laughs> <laughs> Is it possible for a sneaker to help you play video games better? I'm thinking there are a lot of people that so it looked like you were like testing yours <laughs> I, out right there. I, like I, you were like thinking pressing like, buttons. I, I, I am. <laughs> so there are, there are, there are, okay, so there are some streamers that do like, uh, they'll have like a foot pedal for like a, to mute their mic kind oh, of really? thing. For like, yeah, so like the, it's like a, for their streams, it's like some hardcore shit. Um, I don't do that. But there are also, there are a lot of people who competitively play uh, when they go to tournaments and stuff. And some there are some people that wear just sandals. There's some people that wear nothing. They'll take their socks off. And there's some people that wear shoes. And I'm like, dude, I never wear shoes, like ever. So yeah, I'm sure that there are probably a pair of sneakers that could be made where it's like super comfortable to wear at home. And then also super comfortable to wear. Cause like no one wears, like, why would I wear shoes while I'm playing video games? Some yeah. people do. I feel like you may have to take that idea to Adidas and be like, look, we got to make sure these are performance tested for the best possible. Oh, absolutely, dude. I'll, I'll let them know. I'll give them, I'll give them like 40 hours worth of gameplay <laughs> with shoes, odd yeah. shoes. I'll, do, I'll knock exactly. it out in two days, too. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, wow. And I had this idea, man, where, and I think it's possible, definitely, where like it just encourages kids to like play so they can get like Fortnite points or skins, whatever that's called, V-Bucks and stuff like that. It's like you wear a shoe and it has like a little, you know, tracking thing in it on an app. And it's like, if you're active and you walk like one, two, three miles. You walking? Get, no, we're staying inside. We're in the basement. Well, I mean, how are you going to get those V-Bucks, bro? <laughs> how are you going to get that money in the incentive, game? Incentive, incentive. Yeah, no, I got absolutely. You. I got I thought it would be super dope. We're not going outside. What do you think, What do you think? Um, just on a side note, what do you think is the most important thing for a gamer to have? Like, what do you need to be the best gamer? Finger dexterity. <laughs> if a girl's playing, playing when she's five years old or, or a guy or whatever, like, you're good. Like, you've been playing, you're going to be just as good at the game. But there's some people, if they haven't played for 18 years, dude, they don't know how to, like, even aim and move at the same time. That's simply not just because you're not good at the game. It's right. just because you haven't it's been It's like playing. your parents trying to play. Absolutely. Yeah. If they haven't played growing up, like, you're not going to. So it's literally, dude, start them out young, man. Get them in there when they're young. Four years old, <laughs> put them in their hands, dude. Do you think it's harder to gain respect in the sneaker world or the gaming world? Because you're in both, heavily, right? I mean, if it depends like, on where you start. So if I like, so right, for like, if I just start getting in the sneaker world, I feel like I would only have to like kind of prove myself a couple times and then I, everyone would be like, okay. But like the fact that I came from somewhere else, then you gotta get rid of the extra people who are like, dude, he's just doing this for this. Or did, you, did you get crap? from people when you first got like your Adidas shoe? Not were there like no, a lot of man. I feel like a lot of people were really, when I first announced the Adidas collab too, it was when like I was still like just absolutely massive. It was like on the climb, it was like before. When you like, were still massive? Are you saying that you're not No, anymore? so like the hype, all right, hear me out. So like there was, a, there was a solid year when I was blowing up in Fortnite where everyone wanted me to succeed. Is this before the Drake thing? Even after Drake. It was okay. like a couple months after Drake too. Okay, did, did he, that whole- Did he give you any of his sneakers? No, nah, man. <laughs> no? Uh, did you ask for him? No, man. Publicly like Isaiah Thomas? Absolutely, dude. I tweeted out, listen, Drake, I know you're going to see this. No, 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 no. sign PS1. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, no. I never wanted to take advantage of that relationship at all, so I wanted to just uh, just enjoy whenever we gamed. So I didn't want to press him for anything. So, like, during the climb, there was, like, there was no negativity whatsoever. None. Everyone and everyone. He is you. Let's go. He's the perfect person for this. And then after, like, you hit a moment, now it's like, okay, you know, who's next? Oh, we made a mistake. Oh, F this, 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 this. So the Adidas was at the top still. Yeah, I love that. That was like so casual. Uh, so yeah, no, I didn't get a lot of flack from people. I don't think that was like, man, this guy doesn't care about sneakers, man. Oh, bro, who, like what? And, and obviously you mentioned earlier that the Adidas deal means that you have shoes showing up all the time. Do you still buy Adidas at all? Or you, you're just like, you know what? <laughs> I, I, I look out at what's coming out and I'm like, please, I need like, I want yeah. this, 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 this. And they're like, if they can, if they can uh, spare it, at a, size, at a size 13. Right. I saw you wearing Yeezys. Is that like the same sort of plug being on Adidas that you can get all the Yeezys too? Or is it like yeah, Kanye has to it. approve you on that? I don't think Kanye approves me specifically. <laughs> or, or, but he doesn't necessarily disapprove you. He doesn't disapprove me. Okay. Right. Like, because so I get, because I get call, uh, like, stop giving the motherfucker. <laughs> like, I do not want to see Ninja yeah. in these shoes. Dude, I, if you wanted to, I wouldn't be upset about it, man. Uh, but, uh, yo, fun fact, actually, was I wasn't allowed. This is, I, I'm going to 
I wasn't allowed in. I was on the do not enter list at the Nike party at the All Stars NBA All Stars game. Really? Yeah. This year. Because of Adidas. I'm assuming. Or oh. Michael Jordan hates me. Uh, <laughs> oh yeah. Yes. It was his part. It was his party. It was it was the strangest thing in the world. It was freezing cold. It was raining, and uh, they're like, yeah, you can go in. You can go in. Wait, this was in Chicago, right? 100%. This is in your hometown. 100%. So you're not even welcome in your own hometown? Yeah, it's terrible. Wow. It was the Nike party, so. <laughs> it, it, it was Marcus Jordan, bro. Oh. It, was, it was the son. Yeah. Uh, we'll blame him. Hey, Ninja, every single week here on the show, we punish someone in the worst take section for something terrible they did or said last week, as decided by the YouTube commenters. We make them switch out their shoes for something awful. This week, it is my bro. dear friend Trinidad James. It rarely is. Why do I mean, do this when I wear <laughs> Brendan, great Brendan, outfit, bro? I love like, those bro, shoes. what do you mean? Like, bro. Speaking of Michael Jordan, right? Yes, because he said that those Golf Jordan 4s from Eastside Golf were the first time the sneakers have ever featured a black man on them. Of course, almost every Jordan has the jump man yeah, on them. It's the first Jordan 4 um, that doesn't have, um, that they put the, actually has a black man on the logo. That's amazing for me. I got to put that out here. Because hey, what I about Michael Jordan? Him. Yeah. I don't know exactly what I mean. Michael Every Jordan time I wear is, of course, a black outfit, man. I always want to hate on me because I dress Spike better Lee. than all y'all. Spike Lee, Damn. also a black man, has been on many Jordans. Um, and you have some all-black <laughs> shoes here. So um, you have to put those on and tell us in the comments who deserves that distinction <laughs> this week, yeah. and we will punish them accordingly. Man, I tell you. Well, Ninja, we also do a segment on the show called Drip Flipper Skip. Yes. Drip meaning that it looks good. Yep. Flip meaning that you resell it. Yep. And skip meaning that you don't like it at all. Got it. Our first shoe in Drip Flipper Skip, sir, is going to be our off-white dunk here. Virgil is doing 50 pairs. This is pair number one. I will start with you first, Ninja. <laughs> Can you fit those things? Um, yeah, dude, nice and tight, bro. They you look, look like great. They look like shoes. 100%. Hey, they, they work. Uh, I'm going to go with, uh, that's a hard drip for me, man. OK. I do want these, but there's no chance I'm going to be able to get them. So I'm going to still call it a flip. Uh, Welty? Ninja, I see those, uh, the eyelets or whatever kind of match your hair a little bit. Mm -hmm. You see that? Do, do you ever, have you ever like matched your hair with your sneakers intentionally besides that, like dyed your hair like other colors? <laughs> uh, like, dude. No, it, dude, it's it's so hard uh, just simply because the, it's like four, it's like a four hour process, bro. Because I get my hair cut as well, so at the same time by Lee, uh, Lee Rittner, and uh, it's a, I have to fly to LA for it. It's a lot. Dude. Fly to LA just for a haircut? Yeah, absolutely. Haircut and hair dye, man. You think Benny could do them, Brendan? <laughs> <laughs> Benny? I'll, I'll connect you with my guy. <laughs> dude, uh, yeah. This is a flip, this is a flip. The, um, actually, I, I want this one. I'm not trying to get all 50 pairs, but I want number one. So this is a drip. This is a drip. Moving forward, we have uh, Travis times fragment low of the high that Isaiah Thomas wants 11 and a half in for a jersey. <laughs> Signed. Welty, drip flipper skip. Uh, these are way better than the highs. I'll go on record saying that. Still, with that said, this is a flip because you can make a ton of money off this shoe. I wonder if I could trade like a signed, you know, pair of Reeboks or like a signed shirt, you know, would that work for me? Tweet it out. You think so? Will you retweet him? <laughs> uh, absolutely, dude. 100%. Actually, for the memes. Yeah. <laughs> Appreciate it. Uh, we'll, we'll try and get them that way because otherwise I don't think there's any way I'm going to get them. It's a drip. Okay, uh, Ninja. Uh, personally, because I don't think uh, that those would look good on me, I'm going to skip. They're, low, they're not high tops, though. It doesn't matter. Still don't think they Travis look good on Scott. me. Too many colors. I can't pull off too many colors. You played this. Fortnite with them once? Dude, listen, bro. It put a bandage on it. Hey. Put, put some band-aids on it, and uh, and I. Don't Wait, if you it. if you put a pair of Nikes on your feet, are you getting in trouble? You're getting, a, you're getting a phone call. 100. percent But oh. then maybe you could get it to the party. If that that would have been. If that would have been like, oh, dude, I would I would have taken. I mean, the call the next you just morning. told us the bag doesn't matter to you, so <laughs> it doesn't. But. But. <laughs> but extremely um, unrelatable. Yeah, I mean, what to call it? Uh, I don't know if I'm gonna have these shoes. I don't have them now. Most people probably expect me to have this shoe, but. Like I've said before, I'm not chasing things that don't chase me. This is a this is a drip. This I would say I, again. I want to say I want it to be a drip. Yeah. But I think, but I just don't think I'd look at it. So. Okay. Uh, moving forward, we have our Air Jordan One Pollen. Worst name I've ever heard for a Jordan. I understand why they call it the Pollen, but this is a horrible name for a Jordan One. According to Brendan Dunn in 2017. <laughs> You wrote a story about a pair of black and- <laughs> This is and crazy. You're bringing up a blog post I wrote four years ago. It's like 150 words long. You have the floor. There's a pair of black and yellow hyper dunks. And Brendan said, this is the closer you're going to get to Wu-Tang dunks, which was the most absurd thing I've ever heard in my life. This is even- The most absurd thing I've ever heard is you bring up that blog post right now. <laughs> this is even closer 
to Wu-Tang Dunks. So I feel like in another four years, we're actually gonna get Wu-Tang Dunks and Brendan Dunn predicted it in 2017. <laughs> With that said, if that's the trajectory we're going, it's a drip. <laughs> Ninja. I'm gonna flip it. Brendan. Went so deep in the motherfucking crystal ball for that one. <laughs> and I respect it. So I'm, I'm dripping on this journey with you. <laughs> um, this is a flip. I'll let somebody else have it. You don't like these? Um, maybe in person. They might match the fit right now. No, this is orange, but I guess. That's yellow, right? Yeah, I guess. If you want to dress like that. Actually, this is a skip. This is a skip for me. I whatever. Um... Is yellow technically Is the name that bad? <laughs> the name is bad. The name is bad. But are, you more are you allergic to pollen? No, no, no. I hate the pollen. I'm allergic. There, there's some deep root. This is deep seated <laughs> shit in this shit that you don't like. Baby, I hate pollen. You know what I'm saying? What? I mean, I'm just getting, my taste level is just getting like past having to chase the purple one and the yellow one and the blue right. with a backward swoosh. Like, yeah. you know what I'm saying? It's like, I'm trying to do my own shoe. Ninja, we also do outfits on this segment. And I don't think there are any better outfits in the whole world to do than goddamn ninja outfits. Let's go, bro. Let's go. You and Benny. Listen, Talk to me. Me and my boy Benny, man. First off, I don't know who is in that costume, but he was a legend that entire time we were there doing the entire All-Star weekend, bro. Like, he, every time you saw me and Jess, bro, he, me and my wife, he would come up and he would just like be bump, just bumping me, man. He was, he was trying to flex his sneakers. So these were uh, these were a part of the collab that I did with uh, actually one of, so we had the first original Ninja sneaker and then this was like the other collabs that we did with um, just the uh, multicolors. So this one was the purple one. I actually didn't think I was going to rock it very well, but dude. Hard drip, bro. I have that entire outfit in my room right now. <laughs> it's laid out. Oh, laid out. Literally, I wake, up, I wake up every morning and it's just like, you know, like how Superman has probably, or whatever yeah, Batman yeah, has, like yeah. all those That's the things. one. Who do you think has better hair out of the two of you? Benny. <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, no actually, my hair looks really good right there. Look at the, <laughs> that's the, that's look the, at the flow. <laughs> but Benny's just got way, so he's just got way so much more swag than me. So I wish I could dance like he could, man. I'm gonna call it a skip for Benny because th that footwear that he has on is extremely questionable, but I'm gonna it's call it by Nike for that one. A, a drip for, for Ninja. I love the full track suit. You're good in any Eastern European country with this <laughs> outfit on. You oh, yeah. also have the Slav squat going on too. So with that said, got to pay homage. Drip. Yeah, baby. Yeah, I mean, um, I'm a huge Chicago Bulls fan, OG Michael Jordan fan. I'm all about this. I'm about the energy. Big purple energy. Big Benny energy. Drip. <laughs> not to be confused with Benny who cuts my hair. Not of course Benny. not. Never. Different guy. Does Benny actually cut your hair? Uh, his name's Benny, but it's not it's No shot. It's, what it's, guys, not the, it's, a diff, it's different from the different mascot. Guy. Yeah. Okay. And good luck with your hip, Benny. Um, outfit number two. Look at the shoes. This hey. is the shoe. <laughs> Look at the shoes. Is that the shoe? <laughs> is that the shoe? I mean, those off, bro. Oh, my God. No shot, dude. <laughs> Let's go, bro. You know how tight those pants were? <laughs> Almost as tight as the ones I'm wearing right now. <laughs> And look at my hair, bro. That was uh, that was a mistake. How long did you keep red before you went back to the original blue? That was just a like for it was a rebel thing. I think we did a um, it was New Year's. My buddies just kept saying it looked like period blood, so I never went back. All right. That's a drip, man. All right. So is this before or after you drank the beer out of the shoes? This is after. This is after. And you sure. cleaned them up that well? 100% cleaned them up that well. Wow. It's like saliva somewhere. It's in there, man. I'm thinking about <laughs> flipping it now. And now, hey, that, bro, now that I'm realizing if you, if you took point. The, you could like take this on like CSI and get like the <laughs> You whole... could trade it for a pair of Travis Scott ones. Like exactly. the version of somebody, a sign somebody, somebody hit it by the day, man. I, I, got the, I got the plug. I got it. <laughs> this is good. Okay, there's there's there better we... Louis Vuitton shoes. Oh, well, T. Like one of my first pairs, man. I was excited. You live and learn. Thanks, man. <laughs> I did. <laughs> I learned for sure. I was I was gonna skip it until I found out that fellow Armenian American drank out of it. Drank out of it. So, so that's enough for you that no. he drank, that his I, lips you foreigners, you? <laughs> you freaking foreigners, man. Uh, dude, I have to I have to drip it. There you go. Yeah, you, on those grounds. There's some history on those shoes, bro. You guys don't know about it. <laughs> I hear that. It's definitely a skip for me. Um, I'm out of there. Definitely a skip, okay. Um, well, guys, last but not least. Okay. Oh, let's go, bro. Come on. MLS, you were holding it down for Red Bull. I think I was holding it down for Atlanta. I did the white and gold jersey for this fashion show we did here in New York. Yeah, man, it was lit. Um, this is the last time I was here. Honestly, I like the way I look, so I'm just gonna say drip. Ching. Yeah, I mean, it's a it's an incredible moment with the, with the all, how come you didn't do the red hair that night? That's a good question. I actually think it would have been too much. Okay. Don't you? <laughs> yeah. When you put it like that, I guess, right? Picture the red hair from the last picture right With now. That, oh, we'll man. Photoshop it on there. <laughs> Dude, oh, please don't. Yes. Man. Oh, we'll it's happening. No, 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 no. Matt Gian, load them up. Dude, we'll let the people decide. Please, no. With the red hair uh, mixed in, too, I'm going to call it a drip. Full Elmo. You almost never want to go for that oh, one. Run up there, dude. That laugh is a tickle me joke. Come on, bro. <laughs> yeah, that laugh was crazy. Come on, bro. Um, yeah, they're ready to go. Uh, 
I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and jump in there. I mean, I shared this night with you. This is a drip. It was a great, it was a great look. It was Welty, dope. I'm gonna save you for last. All right, so Ninja, we need to have a conversation about this. What did I do, man? Let me drink some water. It's not right. what you did. All right, so, well, it's a few things, not right? my outfit. They did everything. No, so it's a few things. So, I was there that evening as huh. well. Okay. Trinidad James was there that evening well. To preference it, I've been like a season ticket holder at New York Red Bull for seven years. So, I've a lot of blood, sweat, and tears in money. Literal blood. Yes. And maybe had a little much to drink on an empty stomach. A lot to drink. Yeah but it happens. Being a diehard supporter of the club, seeing someone from Chicago represent. Dude, I'm a rebel athlete, man. I know, but it's an organization. Uh, I did them a favor, bro. They had no one else. Hey, I, I'm, hey. Let me they, just, they, I, they asked me, no, man. No, it's all good. I'm gonna go through it. I'm, let me go through it. Come on, So get it out. I may Come have, on. here it is. I may Ooh, have said some up. things oh, dear out loud and very loud that got people frustrated and because I wanted to see someone from New Jersey represented. So if like Polly Walnuts had come out, it would have been cooler than others seeing just the organization Red Bull. Like Trinidad walked in the Atlanta jersey. That was a huge moment. Listen, but all I want to say is, is that I realize that you're a Red Bull athlete and you're a person who has an opportunity. So I can't blame you for taking the opportunity. I'm still frustrated with Red Bull as an organization for many of different things, and I don't want to get you in trouble with your sponsor, but this has been a long time coming, and we've, we all said, how is this conversation going to go? Because a few people know about it, and I just want to say, I cannot blame you for that, and I just want to apologize for acting a little bit out of line. I just think that Red Bull should do better. Look, man, when it comes to stuff Can like I get this, a drip flipper skip for the... Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's it. I got to skip it. Okay, all right, cool. Saw that, saw that coming from a mile away. Uh, <laughs> saw that coming. Uh, dude, it, this is something like, and it, again, I always say I want to be authentic. So like, I literally asked, I was like, I'm not from New York. <laughs> and they're like, that, like they know. Like, it's Red Bull, like, and you know, you're here, uh, and it's a great opportunity. And I was like, if, well, if they're, if that's what they want. You know, <laughs> hey, for the sake of you maybe not killing me after we're done, hey. The full circle moment, right? <laughs> hey, look, look, it's incredible. Ninja, before we get out of here for the day, on this, our penultimate episode of the season and historic episode, we want to breeze through the comment section and see what people have been saying about us on YouTube Think for the past week. I was like, oh, oh Ninja, shit, bro. <laughs> bro. Oh, dude, please. <laughs> Which is always a fun time. We have one from Most Dre saying, I would love for next season, Trinidad James wears gold shoes all season. Trinidad, what do you think? Stop giving me freaking worst takes so I can keep on great shoes. I got you. Now you know how it feels. I am Drifty YT says, can't believe I was watching FSR next to Brendan Dunn. Great seeing you on the train. Couldn't start my day without my daily dose of FSR. So happy to have spotted you there, although that I'm, I'm upset that now that people know that I still ride the train. But Kyle Edge says, yes, lads, watching from the UK. Really, really need a British episode uh, on like Skepta. Sorry. Came yeah, out uh, of nowhere, man. <laughs> yeah, uh, Skepta or Dizzy Rascal to explain our sneaker culture. Keep up the good work. Only show I actually look forward to each week. Thank you for that, Kyle. Thank you for watching. This has been another episode of Full Size Run. Of course, I'm your co-host, Brendan Dunn. At Welty. I got taste. I'm Trinidad James. And uh, I'm Ninja. Peace. She won every color. That's a full size. Buy six for my kids. Bought a seven for my chick. Listen. The episode is finished, but we're actually not finished here. I need you to subscribe. Please subscribe. Get us to 500,000. Get us to a million. Get us to a bajillion. Guys, this is season 10. If you've been with us with this journey for the last umpteen years, we need more subscribers. We deserve more subscribers, and you will get us more subscribers. Handle also, that. don't forget Soul Collector app. Download that best price comparison tool out there. Do it now.